Hello and welcome to Zachary Three TV. And uh, yeah, I got my game fixed, so we don't have to do full screen no more. You don't have to look at everything I do behind the scenes. You can just see the game, the ticker, and I decided to keep a little blue bar on the bottom. I do think that adds a little nice touch, and it kind of fits for both leagues since it, the blue color kind of corresponds for either or. Gar Salamander has started pull here today at Dodger Raceway Stadium. Uh, I used to be really good about like keeping up with stats on polls and track records and whatnot. The only thing I, I can just remember off the top of my head is in 2021, first time we raced here, uh, Evan H, I think, won this race. Um, and he isn't here anymore. He did not, he failed the activity check. He's your 2022 champ. Um, that's a little stat there. Salamander, his last win, I believe, was 2022. I want to say... That he won, I can't remember if he did or not, and if he did where, but I know for a fact he won two races in 2021. It was the both the Vegas races, and he's been very good at Vegas. I think he's got a top 10 at uh, every Vegas race. I think he might have missed out on one of them. That might have been last season, but I know he's very statistically good at Las Vegas, and uh, here, not so much, but uh, here he is starting pole. Uh, Dark x Rain, you got any initial thoughts? Well, we get to see how well that he does it, and next to him, we get to see Bobby Isaac as well. Bobby Isaac He's... has had some really good starting positions this season. Go ahead. Yeah, and then, well, Bobby Isaac, he probably does have a chance to win it as well. Yeah. The same as the other winner, or two winner of Crown Art. He's in the second row. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, but I think next to him is... Who's in a Toyota? That is Brent Stover. Uh, Stover from Dover. Stover from Maine. <laughs> Dover from Maine. That's pretty much good. Well, at a short track like this one, it's going to be able to move quickly. Yep. Big short track. And... High speeds. Yeah, that trick that's known to be Dodge, Trump, Taylor, well, that works. Yeah, track goes by many names in the middle of New York City. Yep, and we see some 13 second, 14 second lap times. Uh, I decided I'd go in and put some lap, da put a lap down. I, I could not, I didn't have any, t I didn't give myself any time to get just to the setup, but I was able to put down a 15. I was about two seconds shy. Um, but yeah. Bobby Isaac, uh, like we said, he's been getting a lot of good qualifier runs, but his finishes have not spoken for that. Currently, believe it or not, he is 37th in standings right now, despite uh, starting up front so many times this season. Then Brad Stover, you know, he's had very bad luck this series. One of two drivers who will actually take that back. No, he won last season, so only uh, one driver who's been full-time in this field, I think, since 2021... Has not won a race yet, and that is Jonah Burridge. I know we keep saying it every once in a while, um, but eventually, sooner or later, Jonah may end up getting that first win. And as you said, uh, Sean R. trying to keep uh, his season going pretty well. Uh, he is not the points leader yet either. He's actually one point shy of the points lead from Drummer Chick 81 who he's starting ahead of, so he has a good chance of getting by for that points lead. He's got two wins this season already. Uh, seven, six races, seven races, and so it'll be interesting to watch. As uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the, get, let the command go. Drivers, start your engines. A couple more things I wanted to note. Uh, Zion, fast in practice. Usually don't take note of that, but I did for some reason this race. He is starting fifth, and then Zevil. We've been talking about his consistency and his team's consistency this season, specifically at the super speedway type tracks. Uh, haven't had physicians uh, finishes to show for him. And that 855 car, we'll see if he can get that going today. You want to call the green? Yeah. Good old double the devil. As we wait for the flag, man, we are green at Dodge Motor the Motor Dome. Yep, already 26 off to a great start. 55 peaked high quick. Question is, do we have any early yellow flags? Game yellows are on, so if something does happen, we will see the yellow flags displayed on the track. Usually you'll start seeing a little billboards to see the pictures of the dodges on the side. They'll be turning yellow and saying yellow flag. So currently still green. Um, 
I did notice on the chat the 61 and Kazo uh, may have had a issue with one of his tires. Um, I'm not sure if that's from qualified practice or whatever, but uh, whatever he keep an eye on him. He's currently in 27th, not really <laughs> looking too hot right now, despite being uh, eighth in standings coming into this race. But in a long race, I would say a lot can happen, but I we'll see. We got a couple of guys getting a bit antsy though. We're nearly gone three wide, and caution is out. Yep, that is correct. Caution is out. Um, see if these guys are, if it's the tail end or the front of the field. It looks like. Uh, I do see smoke. Yeah, we'll. By the start finish line. Yeah, we'll let these guys get paced on together. We'll go to the pace car now. I believe we green for about five pits. laps. And it looks like it Thanks. might be the. The third, the three of Reggie Fogelman may have been involved in this one. Yeah, his, he's in the pits right now. You can't see it because wall and yeah, cameras and all that. Yeah, the three, and it was somebody else too. I think oh. it was the. Uh... No, just the three. Reggie Fogelman. I got the watches now. Yeah, it looks like he hit that pit wall. Let's see what Lethal happened. mortar. He did the twenty-seven. And... Right into the pit wall. Hard hit for Reggie Fogelman. That's slide. Right, well, not right into the barrels. That's a rough place to get wrecked. Yeah, you can't. Twenty. It's just battling for that spot, and then the three's nowhere to go. We seen the twenty-seven. Also, and it looked like he was able to save it for the most part to get sent three wide into the corner. Decided to lift, but yeah, that was just unfortunate. For the regular state, that doesn't really happen here. Oh, wow. Uh, let's look at Patrick Miller's POV, and we'll look at Reggie Fulgham's POV, and then we'll go back to the live, because I, I imagine cautions here don't take very long. Miller in car cam. Whoa. Hello. how loose that the 47 was. Yeah, 27 lethal mortar. Way loose off that corner. We'll go to Reggie Fulgham's roof cam for this. He did not need this race either. He's not doing very well in standings. In fact, he is 34th in standings coming into this race. Worst season of his career so far. Definitely doesn't need this. Granted, it's only race 7, but you can tell it's already going to go that way. You can see his view. Yeah, lead the one up. Ready had nowhere to go. And yeah, such and a he flies into the Yeah, such a hard the hit there as well. So we're back live. I'd imagine we'd be going green uh, this time around. If not, I'm not going to push. I'm not going to go pace mine. It's either. I don't know. It looks like we're going green. So I think that really only took out the three. Unless something else happened. Yeah, I don't know. Three cars out of the race. Uh, we still live to see another day. I was going to pause. Just make sure everything was good to go on the EXC. I don't, I don't think they're going to do double file restarts. We did have that turned off. As we've had issues with that. Every race we tried it. Uh, don't wish to repeat any issues, so, yeah. Top four, all four different manufacturers round up your top four. It's be interesting to see. Or Toyota, Chevy, Dodge. How about that? And I think it's from different teams as well. Great as start we by Brad Stover. Unfortunately, Ooh. he's going to hit the wall. That's going to allow the 67 to maybe get by. And the 71. Had a great launch, but unfortunately, uh, other than that, has not had, did not have any luck there. Got, well, lost one spot. Looks like they were able to get around the 71. You get that jump, but it kind of backfired. Yeah, got the jump, but overcooked entry. Hit the wall, lost the spot. What could have been gaining the lead. And as Garcia Almond are looking really good right now. Like we said, being in the broadcast, has had a very underdog-like career. Um... Dodger Racer Stadium, I don't think they've had specifically any showings here until now. Started pole has been fast since the drop of the green. Uh, Sean Art all over him right now. Sean Art has the potential to three wins this season in seven races. That would be actually impressive. Never seen that before. I don't think that consistency, consistently that early in the season here in the CCS. Granted, we've seen people win four races this season last year, but... We'll see what happens. Sean currently leading with the most wins of season at two. 
three games within seven races? Hey, you never know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whilst that was happening, uh, Brad Stover has rejoined the party. Green, is it going to be a pacing party, or uh, what are we going to do? That's going to be the question. Will this short green flag run turn to a long run, and will it stretch out? A lot of questions right now, as we're still seeing... Well, traffic as well that may affect this, and it keeps staying green. I don't really see anyone back there specifically a threat to being lapped down. Everyone that's in this race is in it, in it and still has uh, relatively good speed. Like we've seen that first caution, Reggie Fogelman uh, got into the 27 on exit. Unfortunately, hit the barrels, took him straight out of the race. But uh, three car pull away at 71, not quite up to these guys right now. Like we said, he's had great Line starting is, positions. In his nose. Stover, not from Dover, definitely peaking. But just don't have enough to make the pass. And he left the by real quickly as well. 100 laps may seem like a lot, but uh, we're only like 10 minutes in. It's already lap 21. Not, to, and not to mention that caution flag also took up a little bit of our time as well. I'll see if anything happens during the long green flag round, but uh, I'm going to be real. I don't really expect it. To get into the turn, they go to the little bit of the high lane. Yep. And they're trying to send it down. I don't know if you noticed, but some of those skid marks on the track are not from cars in this race. Nor cars, specifically in practice or qualify, but I myself decided to qualify run and uh, skid marks still there. So, uh, by the way, I did qualify last. And no, the I Ridgey did not. I marks. did not. I did not make us. I did not get in the car before starting this race either. So, just let the AI run it for now. Go from a three car pull away now to a four car pull away. Yeah, it looks comes. like a. Bobby Isaac. Yeah, yeah, I would say he's figuring it out, but he maybe he's trying something different. And uh, we know you're talking about a uh, lap car traffic. Uh, you may be right. We we we're seeing cars stretch out enough. We might see lap car traffic. Again, I say might. Very big if. When it stays green, we might see traffic coming into play here. Yeah, very big might. Oh, three wide back oh. here. They are racing aggressive. This is where... Oh, oh, crash! And that's a caution. That is... Um, they might have saved... They saved it, however, so... We stay green. That's going to okay. definitely shake up the field. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Yeah, they they stayed... Yeah, despite that, we stay green. I, I, I understand it, because... road yeah, is close. So, Alright, so let's check, just take it green. quick. Yeah, 88. Ah, that was a hard lick. Yeah. But they all kept it straight. And 10 stays yeah, on the fire. track. So I, I doubt he's on pace, but still on the track, nonetheless. That's yeah, going to help the 26. Because this lap traffic is changing hard. stuff a lot quicker than I thought it would. Yep. Yeah, based on that replay, it looked like Firebird got into. Strauss and someone else. Yeah. Fireball, uh, currently 39th. Uh, he's actually probably got the best of that. Uh, and the caution flag now flies. I doubt hey, it is for... Real caution. Yeah. And this was justified. Oh, big pile up oh, here. That's real caution right there. Yeah, big pile up here. Oh, <laughs> leaders <laughs> involved. Oh, that's not good. Plowing. Yeah, the leader of the 26th and 67 both involved in that. It's just a big pile, a big stack up, and you don't expect it. Ah, uh, the 15 is Silas Wilmot, part-time entry. Not sure if he's a direct cause of the accident. Roach appears not to be happy. And Bird, oh, and Bird. Takes out, Bird takes out Roach. Bird is so not happy. So a bit of frustration right there. A lot of frustration here. Short track tempers are flaring. Free pass goes to, I believe... Um... We'll take a look when we go back live, but oh, it's star. Oh, Bobby Isaac. He was in third. He fourth place car, Bobby Isaac. Oh wow. I think there's more too. Oh yeah, former oh, Rose team owner. Oh, Isaac. Former team owner. Yellow, I think. 
We, we have to go helicopter for this. Yeah, this happens under yellow. No, this happens under green. The yellow came out for this, because that, oh. that one thing was not a yellow, and then... Oh, a big stack up so and Rotex had Isaac, and then Dripsy... Nowhere for Toledo or them to go, and then... it becomes a power-up at this point. Yeah, and then... As we see... I think the Rector's okay. There's Dark Rain, And then and here come your leaders, and... Uh, free pass, pick. I think, goes... I would say goes to the 10, but... He was involved in the wreck. So let's see. I'd say see maybe the, the eighty. Is. I'd say maybe the eighty-two would get it. I can't give it to the ten because he was in the wreck. Because the eighty was also a lap down as well. And yeah, we'll see what the scoring says. So the leaders let's have see. damage. Um, the ten unfortunately not going to get his lap back as he was involved in the crash. Surprised he hasn't pitted. But the eighty-two, I believe, would be the next car. Allowed. A lot of people are out. Yeah, a lot we of cars have... out of this thing. Uh, nope, so the, the 80... The 80, is the 82 for a position? The 82 is per position, never mind. So the 88 of Jessica Strauss is going to get the free pass here. I'm down, drummer chick, we have 71. The 61 have a tire issue. The 64, 15, and the 9. The 21 is also in it. Oh, yeah. wow. 10's going to get sent to the back. We're going to go ahead and hit pause. Check our uh, thing. Make sure all's good. But yeah, Gar Salamator, heavy damage, as well as uh, Sean Ard uh, decided to go to Pit Road, I believe, with that damage. Uh, sucks for him. He was looking for win number two, but uh, he's not done yet. That doesn't solidify him beating Drummer Chick 81 in points either. Roach still in the race. Yeah, that was a very interesting crash. You know, in these short tracks, you know, when they bottle up so much, you can only break so much and, you know, plow into it. So we'll see if this, uh, right now, Brad Stover, I would say, is in prime position here. Unless that 26's damage is for benefit, uh, which I highly doubt. On the restart. Uh, yeah. Holy moly, that was a big impact. And some aggressive racing. And a lot of unhappy drivers. Yeah, and you see your full DNF list there is 61, 64, 15, 9, 21, 54, and 3. Or 3 was out before. Great down. start by the 82, but again, the top doesn't work. 42! Gif Jordan! Oh, they're trying. Here comes Zion's Jordan. in the wall! And he's 3 trying. wide! Oh, they wreck again! And did he say it? They did. Oh wow! We I gotta think. see. We gotta see this battle here in the back. Forty-two oh, to the lead. Jeff Jordan versus. Somehow they the saved it. Four wide the in lead. the back. Jeff Jordan to the lead. Caution's out. What a note. Who caught the caution this time? <laughs> Looks like the fifty. Ooh, that looks bad. Not the 50. There's another yellow car. Oh, and my game crashed. All right. Well, it was on lap 40. Yeah. Lap 40 something. Well. I guess you can start from there. Hmm. That was inc incredible racing, but... Well, we have everything Eight. documented, so since it did not go through all the way, what I'm going to do is we're going to just do another 40 lap one. We're just going to randomize... Well, we'll have to look at the DNS. Uh, I can do car set I guess here. You can, I guess I can go back to their backup cars at this rate. Yeah. Let's see. Nah. I think it was either a lap 40 something or lap. I think it was lap 40. I don't know, 44, 45? Yeah, so. Yeah, the, it was just so bad. We had to just end it there. I don't know who was all involved in that wreck, but whatever. It happened, it happened. Our ticker, our ticker might be broke at this point, but. Um, on the <laughs> so I'm just gonna go off a of memory here, and 
who was DNF'd and who wasn't. I'm about 40... I'm thinking uh, about 45. So I guess maybe 60 laps? We did not make it to halfway. Hmm. Yeah, we was about either 5 We were or... like 40 laps in. That's rough. Yeah, so it's it's, it's a been... really tough call. Yeah, because we was getting close, so it was at least lap 44 or 45. So 500 laps would have been lap 50. Okay. That was just an unfortunate event that it crashed. What I could do... Uh, it's like, we didn't make it to halfway, but... 40 laps, I really don't want to restart that. Do uh, uh, you think we should call it? I we do it with 60 laps to go. But since we was close to the... Uh, we were like, what, five laps short to the, to the midpoint? Uh... Hard to say. I think I think it was like five laps shy. So, um, it was at least on lap. It was at least lap either lap forty or forty five. All right. So, here's what I'll do. You... So instead of yeah. trying to rush myself and try and fix this, we're gonna just say rain delay. We didn't make it to halfway. We'll finish the other half in a separate recording. And then we'll probably do that second recording as a premiere on YouTube. And then we'll have it finished that way. And I'll try to... Um, I really don't know how I'm going to do the qualifying results. I'm going to try to see if there's a way if I can make those fixed. But it would be pretty hard to do. Um, in that way, for the ones that DNF, you would have to take them out of the race, right? So you wouldn't have a full 40 yeah. car field. Yeah. Unless you want them in a backup car. Yeah. So that's one way of looking at it. Yeah, I'm just turn off some of these uh, shadows right now. Because I don't know if that was going to be a factor or not of this game crashing, but I really think there was just so much going on. And the track's kind of jank. Um, wasn't made for high intensity, stuff like that. Um, Second caution, it was getting intense. Yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to call rain delay. And then I'm going to regroup, get all the cars that were actually in the race in it. The cars that DNF or DNF, their chances are dashed. I will calculate laps led and the pole sitter from the first save. So the pole sitter Gar is going to get you know his points due. However, um, he the most laps led cannot be calculated at this point. So um, he's not guaranteed that yet. But I'm going to try to re rack it up with the same field we have, with the same way it was when the recording ended. Because I can go from the last time loop, which is the only way I can do it. I can't just go through and do whatever. But I can go through the last loop that the that the ticker did. And we'll go off of that. And then I will try my best to get that qualify result back. If I can't, then I will do random qualify. Which, it's already random qualify anyway. Um, I'll do another, another qualify run. And we'll uh, go from there and try to finish this thing. 60 lap run. And yeah. I'm going to lower the difficulty. To like, well, I want to say lower the difficulty. The racing is... I'm not going to risk... I don't think the wrecking is that bad. I'm just going to keep those graphics off. And then... I really think a car oh, just... One. A car just hit an area that was probably stupid and it caused the game to crash. If it crashes again... There's no way they're gonna crash in ten laps. If they crash if the game crashes again, 
um, after lap 50, or after lap um, 10 on the second run we do, which will basically be lap 50, uh, we'll call it and then use that time loop as the official results, and then we'll tally up what it is furthermore, and we'll just quote, quote, call this a rain delay, which would be the second one we've had in CCS history, which the other one was quote, also quote, quote, but also an actual rain delay that happened, but I was just too lazy to record the diecast race, so I just kind of used an excuse. So um, that's what we're going to do. Um, recording will probably be um, day after this comes out, so keep that in mind. I will do my best to rally up those results. I don't. We're not going to call it. We're going to do a 60-lap run. I'm going to do my best about getting the results right, but um, points right now, all those positions are saved. We have that, so yeah. So at this point, will be a separate video, part two of Dodge Raceway Stadium, and that will be the finish of the race. And there's no way they're gonna cause my game crash in ten laps. I mean, come on. <laughs> but uh, um, got any last statement to start not... before we uh, end the little broadcast we have here? What? Exciting race to uh, have it in on a quote unquote rain delay. Well, it's not over yet. We still got another 60 laps to run. Fortunately, with the game crashing, it has glitched my ticker on the screen, so the ticker is actually still running on the screen. And we only completed 41 laps um, on that, so. Um, you 60 laps in if it stopped on 41. I'm just going to add that extra lap as overtime. Because yeah, it only does. Set, I'm not gonna change it for set laps. Um, or maybe I'll just yeah. like throw the yellow out on lap. One. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little confusing. But uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. It's we will... delay, and it looks like it's gonna come out the same way I was on the on the start. So. Yep. Well, I think it's pretty much good. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Um, part two will be out probably day after this, so stay tuned. And I'll probably put it out as a premiere as well. I might do an announcement or whatever. But uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll go from there. Again, thanks for watching. Sorry for the game crashing. Uh, yeah, it was like 40 laps in. I didn't want to restart at that point. So Well, at this instance, I guess you can say the race has been postponed until further notice. Yeah. I mean, with the ticker we have now, we can actually get away with doing this, but... Like, prior to having the ticker, we couldn't do it. Well, we'll see you in, I guess you say, part two. Yep. It'd be better if it was cloudy, too. But, eh, well, we'll just go with Game Crash. But, um, yep. Thanks for watching. Yeah. We'll see you for part two. Uh, probably the day after this comes out. Maybe two. Um, I'll try to keep it as soon as I can. So, uh, uh, peace out.